Welcome back to another entry in the Armor Tutorial series for Arrow version 6. Today we're going to discuss the Gallery Manager. So if we scroll down here a little bit, the Gallery Manager is denoted by the little image icon here with the word Gallery. So we'll click in and you can see the dashboard here. This is going to list all of the albums, the date they were last modified, and allow you to X, uh, delete or edit them, excuse me. So like with most of our modules, if there's an Options tab, that's the first place we're going to land. Here, you can see some default options for your gallery. The really important ones are these four here at the bottom, but we'll discuss all of them. So, images per row is how many images show up per row on the front end of your website. Links per row is the same. Usually these numbers are the same because each image probably has a link. The links title style is almost always an H3. If you'd like to display link descriptions, you choose to toggle that here. The image title, you toggle it here. And if the links, uh, if the link links to the top of the album here, then the slideshow height and width, we recommend the width of 1366 and a height of between 500 and 800, depending on what your website has. And then the thumbnail width and height, uh, these can usually be between 300 and 600 pixels, depending on how much detail you'd like to show off in your thumbnail. Now, these settings should be set by default by the Air Armor developers if they developed your gallery for you. So you shouldn't have to worry too much about it, but the upload functionalities of this module do not work without these settings being set. So it's always good to check and make sure they are set. So the first thing to do after our options is to add some albums. This form is relatively easy. You choose a title, whether or not it's got a parent album, if you want to nest albums and a description. Once you've created that, you'll go ahead and go over to adding items. Now our gallery supports three different types of items. You can add images, video, or audio. Uh, for the images, you'll choose an album to place it in. You'll give it a title, a link if you want it to link out of your website or to someplace else on your website, a description, and you'll upload the file. If you choose video, you'll see here, we've got a little note. Basically, uh, for the reasons uh, we stated in the original video for this series, the upload limit is only about two megabytes. Uh, it's best if you embed the video by hosting it on an external service. Here, we support YouTube and Vimeo. And so this one's got a lot of the same data, except instead of an image, you type in the URL and you choose which hosting service it is. And then for audio, it's basically the same form as for an image. You give it a title, a link, a description, and the upload for that file for the audio. Um, as always, if you are an administrator for your hosting, you have access to the cPanel. So you have access to drop files up there if you need to that are a little bit larger if the audio doesn't work here or if you need to embed a video. But otherwise, you'll need to keep your file size under two megabytes here. Once you've added your items, again, they'll show up in the album on the dashboard. When you go to edit these albums, you'll be able to edit the title, the parent, the description, and here under child items, any picture that is in this album will show up here with a card and you'll be able to make edits to those as well. They'll also allow you to click a checkbox to mass edit those pictures from this album. You can reassign them to a different album, delete them from the system entirely or just remove them from this album. Otherwise, the only other place we need to be at is the uncategorized page. Here you can see more image cards with those checkboxes, and these are just ones that hadn't been put into albums. So you can delete these from right here, or you can click the edit button. And as you can see, we've got the title, what the image looks like at full size, the link if you're gonna upload a replacement image for this spot, the album and a description. Otherwise, the only thing you need to know about the gallery <clears throat> is that in order to get a gallery page, you'll have to watch the pages video. Uh, we discuss module content and layouts in that video, and that'll let you know how to take everything you've put into your gallery and put it onto a nice stylized page. If I missed anything or I was unclear, and you need a little bit more information, please feel free to email us at support at armortext.com and we'll make sure to get back to you with a little bit more information as timely as possible. We really appreciate you guys consuming our content. You are the reason that we get to do what we love every single day and for that we thank you. And as always, stay awesome.